kindly subscribe to the channel for more updates. Okay, now linear rules, linear rules, all right, of the form. Why is it equal to what? Ax plus what? Plus b. Are you okay? Where? Is equal to what? The constant difference of what? The values of what? The code domain over what? The constant difference of what? The domain. Are you okay? Yes. Alright. Now, we get the B value by what? Substituting any of the other pairs. Is that okay? Yes. That is what? Substituting the X value and this one corresponding what? Y value. Are you okay with that? Aha. Uh -huh. So So I said what? We find B by what? Substituting any X value and this corresponding what? Y value. Are you okay? Yes. And as copy might be wondering, what do I mean by the constant difference of uh, difference of Y and what the constant difference of what? X. Is also. Oh, you're okay with it? Yes, sir. Alright, now imagine I have a mapping that is what? So assuming I have a mapping like this, alright? What do you see? Assuming I have a mapping like this. These are the X values and these are what? The Y values. Do you get that? Huh? Once you realize that there's a constant difference in both the domain and the codomain, you should know that what? It's a what? It's a linear what? It's a linear what? It's a linear mapping. That has what? A linear what? Are you okay with that? So normally, we can say that A is simply equal to what? Y2 minus Y1 over what? X2 minus what? X1. Do you get it? It's also the same as what? Y3 minus what? Y2 over what? X3 minus what? X2. Regardless of how I do it, I should also still get what? The same what? Value is understood. Yeah. All right. So let's see if we can solve a simple example. All right. This y one. Okay.
me your mapes. Or oh, these are two mappings to know whether I'm supposed to use the linear rule or the general formula for the linear rule or not. I have to first of all test to see if it is a linear mapping or not. Do you get it? And how do I do that? Look here. 2 minus 1 is what? 3 minus 2. 4 minus 3. 5 minus 4. Okay. That means at the edge side, they have what? A constant value of what? 1. When you take the differences. 1 of 3 minus 1? 5 minus 3? 7 minus 5? And 9 minus 7? There's also what? A constant what? Difference there. So, what it simply means is that Eh? Fantastic. So that implies that y is going to be equal to what? 2x 
plus one. Now, here, don't always complicate matters for yourself. Choose the simplest of all numbers. Look at zero and four there. You get it? Choose those ones. But not, not see zero and four and don't be choosing what? Eight and what? You won't be punishing yourself for nothing. Alright? So, I'm going to choose for zero and what? Alright. So, And you got zero and what? And y equals what? Four. Then you imply that half. What? In place of y, I'll put what? Four. And in place of x, I'll put what? Zero. zero. Plus what? Five. What does that mean? Two times zero is what? Zero. We have y is equal to what? B. Or better so what? B is equal to what? Four. Do you get that? So therefore. The rule is what? Y is equal to what? 2x plus 4. That's a simple linear what? rule. Do you get it? Be very careful when you are doing for this time. Please. Some students have the habit of leaving out the Y. If they say stay the rule, then you just go and write. The rule is 2x plus 4. You are wrong. Yes. You are what? You are wrong. You must include what? The y. Hmm? Yes. Or, you can have said what? Therefore, the rule is, pay attention, x maps what? 2x plus what? This is also correct. Do you understand? So that's what another way of what stating what the rule. All right.